Okay. Guys, I just put up some videos. And I got a response from... Kiting a full. I don't know if I said that right. But, anyway, you know who you are. And, uh, they say... The whole dark, sick, and twisted side of this game is what boggles my brain. Why? Is this how they game creators manage to lower the density? My god self must find it interesting. I don't really like it. Blank up gods IMO. Okay. <clears throat> and I hear this a lot from people. You know, everybody wants to know, well, why did I come here? What's the purpose? And nobody likes my answer. <laughs> uh, they really don't. I mean, I just get these looks every single time. And I'm sorry, guys, but the answer for most people of why they came here was for the experience of it. Now, <clears throat> most of the people that are listening to my videos, and this may expand, and if it expands to long-term humans, then this long-term humans definitely were involved in creating this. Most star seeds did not have a hand in creating this game. Uh, most star seeds that came for Gaia are here for Gaia. You you really don't care what the game is doing. Uh, you are getting way too involved in what's going on out there when your real goal has nothing to do with the game that's going on around you. So my suggestion to you is look for the beauty in everything all the time happier and happier and ignore the games that they are playing they have spent a great deal of time setting this up this was a <clears throat> a game that didn't nobody thought it could happen um, and they failed many times like I've said before at least six or seven times um, I get bored looking back at that kind of thing because I don't really care but um, I can, and I've pulled at least six or seven stories. It may be even more, but I know that they failed six or seven times by not going deep enough. Uh, this stuff that you all hate so much is the intense contrast and the intense situation that it takes to lower the vibration to get to what y'all have called third dimension and that is a deeply dense thick slow fractaling down of energy that is a part of the all that is now why did they do this and why did they find this fun I don't find it fun I agree with you 100% I don't get it uh, but as you step back and out of it, how many of you go to movies? And I know you do, so don't lie. Um, everybody goes to movies. When you go to a movie, do you go to a movie that is soft and gentle, full of love and happiness the whole entire movie? Well, in the first place, I don't know of such a movie that's ever been made. When you go to a movie, almost all movies that are extremely successful, that millions and millions of dollars are made, there is a contrast. There is a good guy and a bad guy. There is usually a terrible bad guy or terrible string of events that occur and then the good guys come in and save the day that contrast and that setup is a part of what this game in is is all about across the board if you want to see humans at their best where do you see them at their best you do not see them at their best under good circumstances you rarely see them you will see them shine under the most horrific circumstances. If there is a, well, a hurricane that wipes out stuff, people come out of their way to help each other. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. 
what happened whenever the the airplanes hit in New York City this whole country came together like I've never seen ever in my life but did that happen for a good reason or a bad reason so my question to you is and I know this is hard guys I really know whenever something horrible is happening it's easy to focus on that horrible event it's easy to judge everyone around the horrible event but if you step back and look at it objectively you will see something different altogether now how many of you all watch things about um, like the Olympics Winter Olympics in the Winter Olympics you see people going down mountains going extremely fast on big old ski slides and flipping around in circles in the air now do you think that those people ever struggled they ever crashed they ever got hurt in the process of developing that kind of skill well of course they did the entities that have created this intense dense difficult game have spent hundreds of millions of lives to get it here this is the most incredible movie to watch this game is surrounded by beings watching it this earth this planet is surrounded by beings watching it because it's incredible incredible it is absolutely incredible it's like watching Star Wars for the first time it's like watching the first Jurassic Park do y'all remember that do you remember all of the special effects that we watched for the first time and were in utter awe do you remember that that is what this game is now you're in the middle of it you're like an actor that doesn't know you're an actor playing a role in an incredible live action video game slash movie okay all you've got to do is remember that that's all you are you're just an actor in a very very real video game or slash movie and when you and I'll give you an example of this okay I was born in a really really bad situation I was highly abused you cannot list a kind of abuse that I did not go through <clears throat> okay it was horrific absolutely horrific the stories I could tell would make you probably sick okay but because of that life that I was led it led me because it was a very dangerous household I was raised in my natural abilities as a god were triggered okay now I didn't know that until after I died but who cares what happened was I developed a sense of being able to read people I could I was an a student always have been why am I extremely smart I don't know about that but I was able to listen to a teacher and instinctively know what was important to them and what they were going to ask me on a test I could just feel it I could just know it I could just know it by watching and listening to them now where did I develop that skill well, it was a God skill, of course, but it was developed in a very dangerous household where it became imperative for me to watch my parents because they were dangerous. So I watched them all the time to try to avoid being in pain and to help my brothers and sisters not be in pain, to avoid their outburst, to avoid being in the wrong place at the wrong time and being attacked by them. Okay? Now, I translated that into many things, eventually became a nurse, and I was a very, very good nurse at assessing people. I could assess a patient very, very quickly because I could read them. Okay, now there's a, there's a reason why I told that whole story. 
the whole story means, if you look at it from that perspective, was my, for 25 years I was a nurse. 25 years. And most of the time, a good half of the time, okay, we'll say, I worked 12-hour shifts every single day of the week. Okay? Now, how many people did I take care of during that time? Wasn't a really good nurse the last, well, yeah, I was I was a, okay, I was a 90% good nurse the last few years because that was after I died and I didn't want to be there. But before then, 20 some years, I took care of a lot of patients. A lot of patients. A lot of people were helped, okay, because I was really good at assessing them. A lot of people were helped. Okay, now look at the big picture. Was my childhood a good thing? Or a bad thing I wouldn't be the person I am today I wouldn't be doing these videos because I wouldn't give a damn about any of you people if I hadn't had the childhood that I had so was my childhood a good thing or a bad thing in my opinion would I want to do it again oh no I would not want to do it again but was it a good thing for me, personally? It made me who I am. And I'm very proud of who I am. I like who I am. I like myself very much. I like what I did as a nurse. I'm glad I'm not a nurse anymore. I like doing these videos with you guys. What you do with them is up to you, but I like putting them out there. You see, you have to be able to look at it from a different perspective perspective it is all about perspective guys all about perspective as I've told you before those people that climb up to Mount Everest know that it's going to be a struggle know that there's a good chance that they won't make it know that it's gonna hurt but the exhilaration of being what a handful of people that get to the top of that mountain is worth it it's absolutely worth it I'll give you another one. Anybody want to ride in a race car? Why? It's dangerous. It can throw you around from side to side, but the exhilaration is why people do it, why it's exciting. Why do people do zip lines? Scary as hell. Why do they do it? The instinct that is us in Creator Gods, that's deep in our soul of creating unique experiences, is what we're all about. We as Creator Gods will go to any and all ex extents to create something, anything that's unique. We never stop. The all that is has an unlimited, infinite amount of energy for you to create with. And you, like the gods that created this game, will create and have created exceptionally amazing things. And you will take the information that you've got from here, and if you don't like part of it, you won't recreate it. But you'll take the part that you like, and you'll use it to create something new and fantastically awesome. You come and you live the games within the games to have experience in respect, having great respect for the creator gods that created it. Now, even from this perspective, you not, might not have any respect. I have great respect for him. I just don't care for it. Okay, that's it. I came here. I had the experience. Not for me. That's cool. I, I understand that it is amazingly complex, and I am in awe of what they have created. It's just not my gig. That's all. It's not my gig. No bad judgment there. Great respect to the beings that did it. And I'll leave here with information, experience, that I can use and will use in creating my next game, just like you will. So it doesn't do you any good to fuss and fume about the bad stuff here. I've explained why they have the bad stuff. It's for contrast. It's to, def it's to fractal. It's to go down in density, and it's to have an exceptionally unique experience. I've also used the analogy is most of y'all are too young for this, so I'll just ask you to use your imagination. Let's say that you were captured. You've watched movies. You've, captured, you've been captured 
you went across to visit in some foreign country and they nabbed you and they say you're a spy and they bury you deep in a cell and that cell has no light none whatsoever and you didn't tell anybody where you went because you just were taken off for the fun of it so nobody knows where you are so you're there for 10 years you're 10 years in a hole with no sunlight none okay now you get out Somebody else is in charge of that country, and they clear out all of the prisoners. And they let you out, and you walk out into the sun. Now, I want you to just think about that and imagine it. What do you think the sunlight, the fresh air, a bird chirping would seem like to you? Can you imagine how wonderful that would be? Just think about it. That is the exhilaration of... Just a tiny fraction of the exhilaration that these consciousnesses have whenever they go deep into this density, forget that they're gods, lose control of everything, and then they die, leave the game, go out, and remember who they are. It feels like... <gasps> it is the most exhilarating feeling of relief of magnificence that you can imagine and yes I felt it All right that feeling they really like it is very very much like the exhilaration a human would have in doing something stupendous something absolutely extraordinary jumping out of a helicopter and skiing down a mountain that nobody skied down before All right inventing a, a submarine and going to the bottom of the ocean where no one's been before. Uh, these, these magnificent things are, are a, a small percentage of the feeling that these beings, these consciousnesses have. And I respect them for that. That's what they are doing. That's their gig. That's their, so what? So what? You came to their game. If you're not one of them, and most of them deep down inside know who they are. Most of them that I've met, if I've had a really, really honest discussion, they know who they are. They know that no matter how bad it gets, they are exhilarated in the game. They know that this, that they're having fun. That even when things suck, they're having fun. Every single one of them that I've talked to, when I've really gotten to know them and gotten to them to open up, they all know who they are. And they know what they're doing. If you're not one of them, then understand, you came to do something else. You'll be out quick as a wink. And when you are, you'll look back at this like it was, oh, that was interesting. And you'll go on. It's a tiny speck of a drop. It's a mo molecule in a drop of water of who you really are. Now, you can focus on it anytime you want. You can live this whole life anytime you want. But ultimately, this is just one tiny little experience of many. So I would encourage you, stop looking at the bad stuff. It's like going to YouTube and, and watching things that you don't like. Why do you do that? Stop doing it. You're not going to fix it. There's nothing wrong. They're creating what they want to create. The best thing that you can do is respect it. Gaia is doing what she's going to do. Everything will work out perfectly. I promise. It can't not work out perfectly. That's impossible. You're dealing with gods here. We know what we're doing. We do know what we're doing. Stop looking at the bad stuff. Look at the best things they have in this in this planet because there are good things here focus on them be happier that's the best thing you can do for yourself your family your friends and mostly Gaia okay alrighty then love you bunches thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting me I hope you push the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already can you guys believe that I've got like 1400 subscribers I, you know, I remember when I was excited when I had 50. <laughs> remember those days? <laughs> I'm just in shock. I really am. Okay, guys. Love you a bunch. I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs. Bye.